Hannah, thanks very much for your time today. Now, we are here at the scene of the Scottish Swimming Awards. It's your big night and you have absolutely nothing to say for yourself. It's <laughs> terrible. What's happened to your voice? Ah, uh, No, it's just something, uh, it kind of comes with being a swimmer sometimes. Uh, just chlorine levels, intense training, uh, it can just disappear on me. So I've got a little bit, I just have to try and keep quiet just to make sure that I don't make it worse or get an infection. So uh, I've been given the all clear for it, so it's all good. Uh, just need to make sure I don't start singing or anything. <laughs> now, who have you been looking forward to tonight's event? Because you are in line for a very prestigious award at this event. Yeah, I'm, I'm really looking forward to it, actually. It, it would be great, Steve Parry, um, you know, presenting it um, and doing his speech. I always love uh, listening to his talks. He, you know, he presents so well and he's so funny. Um, so it would be great just to catch up with everybody. And my brother is going to be here with me as well, Alistair. So uh, it'll be a great night just to catch up, uh, relax. And, you know, as a swimmer, I actually get to dress up and look normal <laughs> uh, instead of sitting in track suits uh, with wet hair and uh, no makeup on. So we kind of get to do the role reversal and actually, you know, um, take a bit more care in our appearance. <laughs> who, who has this year been for you in terms of not only your events, but, but just in training as well? Uh, it's been really good. Uh, started back up training about three weeks, uh, four weeks ago. So um, just kind of, it's been hard hitting, just getting back into things. I had two weeks off after the World Champs. Uh, World Championships, I came fifth. Uh, it was kind of like swings and roundabouts. I was, you know, happy with the swim. It was faster than what I did in London, but a little bit disappointed. It wasn't like a, a bigger drop than I was kind of hoping for. So certainly a lot that we can uh, use and learn from and um, definitely put forward for next year. Uh, started the season last year actually really well with the a gold at European uh, short course and a, a gold at the world short course as well. So my short course uh, stage has definitely improved. I just need to make that improvement in the long course pool. Uh, Aberdeen's uh, getting a long course pool, which should be opening beginning of next year. So uh, I think that'll make a massive difference to my training. And um, yeah, I think it's, it's looking up and I'm really looking forward to, you know, 2014 Commonwealth Games in Glasgow. So uh, it's certainly going to be a, a great event and fun to be part of. So I've just got to get the hard work in, make sure I make the team and uh, hopefully it all goes well from there. Just how big an impact has the Olympics had on Scottish swimming? Have you noticed an increased awareness? <laughs> Definitely, and also in the volunteer side as well. Uh, I've heard that there's actually been a huge amount of volunteers that have wanted to take part in Glasgow because of the success that they had uh, for the volunteer programme in London. So it's great that people you know, can get involved, whether they're watching it, supporting it, or actually being on the field, you know, maybe carrying uh, one of their top athletes' you know, clothes in a box. It just gets people more involved in the sport. and. London has certainly, you know, provided a legacy for um, sport, you know, both in England, Wales, but m you know, more importantly for me in Scotland. Uh, and it's great for uh, Glasgow with the Commonwealth Games being on home turf for me, two home games. Uh, you know, something that not many athletes get to experience. So certainly not going to want to miss out on that opportunity. Some athletes dream of seeing their faces up in billboards or names up in lights. You have your face on the side of a Scottish <laughs> gas van that will, yeah. that will be going around <laughs> around the city. People will see that in the lead up, you know, to the games. But it's it's great backing from a key sponsor for Scottish swimming as well. Yeah, definitely, and I you know I hugely thank uh, the support that I've got from uh, Scottish Gas, and it's really really important. They've played a huge role in you know my preparations and leading up to uh, the uh, World Champs and for the Commonwealth Games as well so it's kind of cool seeing <laughs> your face on the side of a van it's so, slightly surreal I never really expected that to happen so uh, I really appreciate it and it's uh, it's, got, it's going to be interesting to see what my friends say about that. <laughs> now, people can read your column in the lead up to the Commonwealth Games in the Daily Record yep. and uh, you know just how are you looking forward to the Games now as well? I'm really looking forward to it I think it's going to be fun it's going to be exciting uh, I'm you know, going to be hopefully prepared, uh, you know, fit and healthy leading into it and I really can't think of any other words to describe it. It's just one of those events that I think you just have to be there to take part. Uh, and you know whether people are, if you're, you know, lucky enough to get tickets to be there to shout as loud as you can because it makes a huge difference to an athlete when you're walking out and you can hear a crowd, you know, chant your name or you know just you just know you've got that support. It really makes you stand up taller, more proud, and you just give it your all. I mean, not like you know most athletes don't. You you just have something special about it being in your home turf. And you kind of have something to prove as well. You know, you've got that brave heart fight in you. And every Scottish athlete will definitely feel that you come together as a team and, you know, you fight together as a team for your sport. So I think it's uh, really, really important that I think people get behind us and um, cheer us on. 